Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, I definitely went through all your guys' comments and everything, and I saw that most of you guys wanted me to do the PID characteristic tuning video. Um, so, basically, what I'm going to be doing is this is my six inch um, drone with pup that I built with the new motors that are on there and everything, and I went to tune it already it was it was a little bit different of a tune for me just because um for some reason it just i don't know it, it was different uh, like i said everybody tunes kind of different and uh there's not really one way to tune you guys might have a different way than i have um so i am basically just going to go over everything the way i do it um the one thing that i had a problem with at the very end of my tune and this might be the same thing you guys have a problem with is uh, when I was to do like say a back flip and let it hang it kind of had like a little bobble like this same thing when I did a front flip um, It always had some sort of like a bounce back type of little bobble. So we're gonna go over to things um, That I change when I do see those characteristics um, And I'll let you guys know if I go higher up in that pit or if I go lower down in the pit or if there's anything else that I do change um, one other thing I wanted to talk about is today I'm going to be flying with this. This is the uh, X7 Tyrannus. I do like it. I'm using the uh, Crossfire module in the back. Um, the gimbals are okay. They're new, so they're not too bad. But um, I do have the hall gimbals that I want to fit into this because they don't fit into this straight out of the box. Um, they, uh, they fit into the old Tyrannus, but not this one. So uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, a couple switches that are in the way that um, when I'm pinching, I kind of get in the way over here so I'm probably gonna take uh, some of these switches out or maybe move them around or something um, but uh, yeah just minor things I'm gonna change to this thing I do like it uh, for people that are getting into like a uh, this hobby and want like a good affordable radio I think this is a good radio for them it does everything that pretty much that you need to do to it I like the antenna that's on it um, and all the little ports and everything are pretty good mine I uh, came with like a rechargeable battery pack even though um, I don't like it because it's like in the form of the double A battery rechargeables and I'm probably just going to put some sort of 2S LiPo in here. So that's my quick little um, review on this. I'll get more into it once I get more time to play with it and have like a, a really, really honest, like good thought out opinion on this. Um, but so far I like it. Um, I have nothing but uh, kind of good stuff to say about it. There's not like I said, too many things that I don't like. So let's get into this. I am going to like get all geared up to go fly and yeah, I'll show you guys. Hopefully you guys can understand from the video what I'm talking about. All right guys, so let me show you what I'm uh, talking about here. So you can see there's like that little type of bobble when I uh, go into like a backflip. Or you can see how sloppy it is just in general. <laughs> when I uh, do like some rolls, I kind of see it. It's not as bad as the pitch, but the pitch is the worst. Um, so hopefully you guys can see it on the GoPro footage. You can see it's real sloppy when I do like just fast inputs. Um, So that's what I want to tune out, is just getting that slop out of there. Just a little bit of bounce back. Let's bring it in and um, I will change it. Right now I'm at 50 on my eye term and eye term is what I changed to get rid of this bounce. All right, so we're gonna see if we got rid of any of this. Um, I bumped the, the eyes up to, that's uh, eh, still there. I bumped the eyes up to 60 on the pitch axis and about uh, 57 on the roll axis. And you can see it when I do that roll there, you, you can see it bouncing. It's the worst I've had and you can see it right there still so I got to go higher up on it um, I think uh, for some reason these six inches I've had higher eye term on uh, 
beta flight. Alright, so now I went up quite a bit. I mean, I'm in like the, uh, okay, that's a little bit better. 64 on my roll and like 70 on my pitch, but uh, it seems like it's better. You can see, uh, yeah, it's still there a little bit. Now, if you see how I kind of like when I got back on the throttle, because I'm getting pretty close to the ground here, I do have a twitch, but it's not from the actual, that's just me on the throttle. What that is, I think um, my TPA is too low. I, I have it on like the stock TPA, and uh, yeah, that, that pitch is a lot better. And I think that's what I'm getting is every time I kind of move the throttle a little bit, I'm getting a little bit of a bounce too. So don't always think that uh, it might all just be like, you know, related to that. Uh, you have to adjust some other things. So I'm going to put in another battery. I'm going to crank up the TPA um, and see how it flies. All right, guys. So uh, I didn't change anything. All I did was change uh, on my PIDs, just the TPA here. And uh, basically what the TPA is going to do is when I get above 1650, it's going to uh, change up my, uh, it's going to change up my PIDs. It's going to, it's going to lower them um, at tw to 25% lower over 1650 per, uh, on the throttle. So the throttle's at like 1500 in the middle basically. And it's going to lower them. Um, I kind of like how it's feeling right now feels pretty good. Hopefully it looks pretty good for you guys too. You guys can notice everything. Yeah, you can see like, it's pretty good for me. Um, doesn't seem to be jumping around too much. Let's try here. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, so when I get on the throttle right there in between those rolls, I don't have that crazy bounce anymore something's dying on me I don't know if it's <laughs> goggles or something I don't know air beep but uh yeah that's pretty good I'm gonna bring it in and get this beeping out of the video for you guys but uh hopefully you guys can see the difference and we'll go over some things right now a little review I don't see any oscillations so um that's good let me see any prop wash no nah, not much Let's see. Nah, everything seems pretty good. Let's bring it down. All right. Oh, that's that's prop wash for me right there. I'll I'll explain that to you guys. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and start off. Um, basically talking about the prop wash oscillation because you saw a little bit at the very end when I was coming down some of that stuff you just can't avoid no matter how good your tune is and everything you're always gonna have some sort of little bit of prop wash it's just a matter of like especially with a six inch like this it's a matter of how you fly I could you know for the most part I mean I was coming in and and there's a lot of prop wash in that area obviously that I'm gonna be getting but uh, doing a split s or things like that knowing how to get the quad out of the way of your prop wash and things that that's the main factor of prop wash really i mean yeah pit controllers and things like that and and uh you know what whatever you're using like your flight controller stuff like that i know people will say so much about that it'll tune out prop wash and everything it you can only tune out so much it, you know if you're gonna fly into your prop wash you're gonna fly into your prop wash and you're gonna see it so uh just keep practicing and make sure uh, you can do what you can to get out of your own prop wash and the guys that are really good they could actually you know fly and manipulate a lot of things just th with the way they fly rather than how the tune is so um, that's a uh, that's a big thing on on what you, you see a lot of characteristics with but uh let's go back to what I was doing with uh, like say my eye term I just kept cranking it up until I kind of started getting that bobble away and then once I got it to where it was kind of smoothed out, where you wouldn't see that, that big bounce back, then um, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I just turned up the TPA. The TPA is gonna kind of, it just lowers down your PID values when you go above a certain value. So it, it lowers, I set it to 25, so it lowers it at 25% above 1650 on my throttle. So it kind of gives it like when you have low PID values and you kind of get that mushy kind of feel, that's the best way I could say it, is uh, instead of taking that, that sharp like aggressiveness of how high PID values, it kind of just, it, when I get back on the throttle real quick after something, it stays a little mushy and it, it, it pulls me out of there. It looks a lot smoother. Um, that's the way I do it. That's the only way I could really explain it. Um, I know mushy is probably not really a good uh, good term to use, but it definitely it brings everything down. It smoothens out the way this one flies. My five inch is completely different. I have different values obviously set and everything for that. That's what I do with this six inch. I I bring up the eyes quite a bit. I, for some reason, I don't know why, it just seems like the eyes are super high, but um, it's been doing good on these six inches with me with uh, tuning some of that stuff out. A lot of it with these type of frames, people have trouble with uh, the bounce back I've heard on six inch. And yeah, I've, I've noticed having a high eye gain has taken that out for me. Um, and yeah, these motors are good. I like these motors so far. They seem like this is a good, um, kind of in the middle freestyle type motor, but uh, I don't I don't think I'd I don't know I don't know if I'd use it for racing. I kind of like the 2140. I think it's faster. I have to do a comparison. I don't know, even though these are like more of a 2200. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it was helpful. I know, like I said, everybody tunes everything different. My term analogy of how I'm doing it is probably not the best. It feels like it's starting to rain on me for some reason I'm getting like some sprinkles but uh hopefully this did help you guys and yeah just i'm gonna keep trying to do videos like this to help explain certain things that are outside of the normal characteristics that you guys see or you guys might need help with leave your comments in my comment area if you guys don't understand or have a question or anything that i need to explain to you guys i'll make sure i help you because i know um, some of you guys might all not pick up what I'm talking about in this or might not have seen it in the video I have to kind of go over it and see how it looks, but uh, hopefully you guys like this video I'll see you guys tomorrow go out there get nasty Fly your quad no matter what it is. Just keep practicing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace